Has anyone heard from Chance and Dunbar at all? Oh, no. no, we have not. Yeah. No? No. Hello, hi, hey, welcome to my unfiltered YouTube channel where you are encouraged to be the unfiltered version of yourself. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we can be free and unleashed together. After watching Put a Ring on It Season 4 Episodes 1-8, through 8, I wanted to share with you all why I agree with Chance and Dunbar about not continuing on the show. Also, stay tuned to hear what Dunbar and Chance have to say about why they decided to leave the show. Do you want to know about what they are up to now? Watch this video until the end. You definitely do not want to miss out on what they are offering. For some of you who may not know who Chance and Dunbar are, they were one of the three original couples on the own TV show Put a Ring on It Season 4. Put a Ring on It is one of the many relationship shows that is advertised as a social experiment for couples to discover if they're truly meant to be. By signing up for the show, the couples are agreeing to date other people, and at the end of the season, they have to decide whether they will put a ring on it by becoming engaged or in their relationship. In my opinion, Chance and Dunbar were the star couple of the show for season four, even with only filming three episodes. They both have a long list of accolades individually and appear to be a great couple. If you want to learn more about Chance and Dunbar, watch my video about their life linked in the description below. In this video, I share who Chance and Dunbar are, their childhood, careers, businesses, and more. So for the first three episodes of season four, Chance and Dunbar have been the hot topic of the show. In episode one, people responded to how Dunbar behaved when Chance's first date arrived. People labeled him as controlling, disrespectful, and even a narcissist. I think people tend to say that the man is controlling a relationship where there is a significant age difference. Since Dunbar is 10 years older than Chance, somehow people cannot understand how they could possibly relate to each other and be in a healthy relationship. I can agree that the way he treated her date was disrespectful, but I also feel that he was joking a little bit. The comment he was making to Chance's date reminds me of how T.I. sometimes talks on his family and hustle show. Now people are going too far with labeling people as narcissists. Everybody seems to be a narcissist if they do not agree with you, do something you do not agree with, or may have treated you or someone badly, but I would have to create a whole other video expounding on the difference between narcissist disorders, narcissist traits, and someone who is just being disrespectful or rude. I digress. In episode two, the narrative of Dunbar being controlling flipped to Chance being controlling as people watched how Chance behaved when Dunbar went on his first date. People were actually rooting for Dunbar to continue dating his first date, stating how they seem to be more equally yoked. In episode 3, Dunbar has a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the host, Dr. Stacey Johnson. At this sit-down, Dunbar opens up about his anger, depression, and feeling as though Chance may leave him. After the sit-down, both Chance and Dunbar went MIA by not showing up to their group session to discuss how Dunbar's date went. Am I the only one who thought it was funny Dr. Stacy driving down the road trying to call them? <laughs> In case you did not know, Dr. Stacy Johnson is not a licensed therapist. She is a relationship coach. In the first episode, she shares that pretty much her credentials for being a relationship coach is from her life experience and watching her parents fail relationships. She also has an honorary doctorate degree of humanitarianism from Global International Alliance. When she was an undergrad, Dr. Stacey Johnson majored in theater. In my opinion, in an attempt to avoid scrutiny from the audience of Put a Ring on It, she is now a graduate level intern currently working towards receiving her master's August 2023 in marriage and family therapy from Turo University. I bet she was thinking, this is my first season being the host of this show and a couple quits. Not good for her reputation, but something that was also not good for Dr. Stacy Johnson's re reputation is how she put words in Dunbar's mouth by saying he said he did not trust Chance. 
Then she tried to, in a way, make them feel as though they are losing out on making their relationship work just because they chose not to continue the process. I feel as though the way in which Dunbar and Chance shared their reasons for leaving were valid and should have been respected more than trying to convince them otherwise to stay on the show. Both Dunbar and Chance decide to work on their relationship in a different way that does not require them to date other people. People have to understand that dating other people when you are in a committed relationship is not for everybody. To be honest, it is not for anybody. I understand the logic behind the show. The show is pretty much attempting to show the couples why they have not both agreed to taking the next step of commitment. So they date other people to see what is missing from their relationship in hopes to learn and apply whatever they need to make their relationship work. On the other hand, they may really see what they are lacking by being in their current relationship and desire to no longer continue in their relationship. In episode four, the new couple was introduced. If you watch episodes four through eight, you will clearly see why Chance and Dunbar did the right thing by leaving the show. As if there is not enough drama, the couples go on dates with their ex. This is the first season they invited exes on this show. We have seen this on another own TV show, um, Ready to Love. They also invite a family member on the show, which is also what Ready to Love does. Maybe they are taking some episode ideas from Ready to Love. Not to take away from the other couples on the show, I agree with Chance and Dunbar when they say, when they said they are on a different level than what the show is offering. Dunbar said himself how he was looking forward to receiving therapy or relationship advice on the show, but I think their relationship was misunderstood and prejudged by people not really understanding who they are and their intentions. The reason I say this is because people were prejudging Dunbar about the prayer he did before Chance left on her first date. I'm not saying what he said was right by saying these same hands will bless you as if he would fight the guy, but just because he said that does not downplay the fact that he is a Christian. He actually attend, attended a Christian college and speaks a lot about his faith in God. Dunbar said, even even said in episode two after their group session that Dr. Stacey Johnson missed the point. He was set in the bar and in his own way showing how he is a protective over Chance, which from her response, seems as though Chance loves it. Chance and Dunbar chose the right time to exit left, right when they were supposed to go on, go out with their, go on a date with their exes. Imagine going on a date with your ex, discussing your current relationship, most people, if not everyone, would not see that as productive. Once you enter a relationship, your past relationship should not interfere with your current relationship. Even if you have to co-parent, you set boundaries where your ex will not be able to interfere with your current relationship. Quitting or choosing not to be a part of anything that you view as detrimental to you or to your relationship should not be viewed as bad. Instead, it should be respected. Even though Dunbar and Chance signed up and originally agreed to be on the show, they have a right at any time to reconsider their decision and decide to no longer be on the show. They should not be viewed as bad people because they changed their mind and decided that they do not want to date other people and would rather work on their relationship together outside of the process. Your time is your most prized position along with help. We should not want to waste our time doing something you no longer want to do. To be honest, some of the other couples probably would have benefited from quitting as well. What couple, what couples really need on these relationship shows is a licensed therapist who specializes in relationships, psychology, and marriage and family. In my opinion, it is not necessary to date other people to determine whether you want to continue your relationship. It would be nice if there was a show that really helped couples or people who are seeking out relationships by helping, I mean talking through childhood experiences and how, and how it affects their adulthood relationships, having a therapist help with effectively listening and communicating, setting healthy boundaries, and working through any conflicts in a healthy way. Also, if you decide to not be in a relationship, learn how to end a relationship without causing more conflict than labeling the other person as a narcissist, evil, and a bad person, etc. If you have a, if you have to co-parent, how to how to do so without bashing the other parent in front of the kids or making the kids feel as though they have to choose a side. If you have to raise your kids by yourself due to the other parent not being present, 
how to do so without talking down on the other parent allow your child's option to always have a relationship with the other parent if at all possible but again that is another topic for another video so the put a ring on it season four premiered on march 17 2023 and right before episode three which is when chance and dunbar quits the show which was aired on march 31st 2023 on march the 30th 2023 are mad why they think that chance and dunbar went on the show for exposure but it was if that was true why did they choose to quit the show as also if you do research you will discover that both dunbar and chance are doing well for themselves without reality tv exposure everybody does not need to be on reality tv to be successful why be so hateful towards Chance and Dunbar just because of three episodes? If you look at what they have and are doing for minority communities and women empowerment, their reputation outshines what is seen on the reality show. Maybe they decided to continue being successful without reality TV, but I personally would love to see more of them on another reality TV regarding their business and outreach programs. Either way, the conversation that resulted from them being on the show have been great relationship discussions even if it does not accurately reflect their relationship all in all i wish them the best listen to what dunbar has to say about leaving the show i want to know why did i walk away from the show uh, how i felt about being on the show what am i doing since i left the show well the truth is uh, I, I felt like you guys was trying to control the narrative and put a spin on me that we know is not true if anybody knows me or hang around with me, you know about my passion, you know about what I do, you know how much love I give out, as well as how I feel about our women. Shay Love to Fly posted a comment on Chance Proposal. I am so glad you guys are off that show. This is my third season watching. My husband stopped watching because he did not like the new therapist. I decided to stick in there and continue to watch, but I do not like the way that she tried to make it seem like you guys had a problem and you didn't. It seemed like she was trying to create a problem. That was not there. God bless you and your new journey. And I wish you all luck. Chance replies at Shay Love 25. Thank you. And yes, she was very, she was very much was. She very much was. We left because it was too much drama. Whether you agree with Dunbar and Chance's reason to leave, put a ring on it, or how they were portrayed on the show, Chance and Dunbar will continue to be successful. They both have several events coming up and are sent in their center around helping others. Dunbar has a boss up program titled Young Professional Internship Program. They will provide paid internships, career paths, college career tours, mentorships, stipends, transportation, professional assistance and development. Available positions are administrative assistant, production worker, photography editing, data entry specialist, cybersecurity, paralegal assistance, IT web designer, management trainee, fighter, fight, um, firefighter training, plumbing apprentice, medical office assistant, recreation specialist, daycare teachers, and more. Dunbar writes, attention business owner, our boss up program is offering to pay for the labor of young adults ages 15 through 24 that train for the summer. You can apply via the QR code or you can go on his page and, and make the connection. Also in June, on June the 17th through the 18th, Dunbar is hosting a men mental health and community leadership conference titled Raising Kings. Dunbar writes that he is currently seeking male speakers for the event. We are looking for dynamic and inspiring male speakers to join our upcoming Raising Kings event. If you have a unique perspective, story, or expertise to share with other men, we want to hear from you. You can reach out to him via DM or on the phone number posted on the fly. Dunbar will also be starting a Raising King podcast May 2023. This May, this month, I'll be dropping my tour as well as my podcast, Raising King, where I'll be having an opportunity to bring in real counselors, real specialists, people that are really certified in that particular industry. So we can now talk about what men really want to know about how to make love last, how to be a better father, how to be a better leader in our community, as well as how to be the best husband we can be. 
So again, this month, I'm dropping Raising Kings Tour. It's one of the podcasts. The link is in my bio. Uh, I look forward to networking and meeting all of you guys. So Raising Kings, it's time to lift our brothers instead of beating us down. Much love to my sisters in the outstate state. Peace. Yes, and her rebuild, her incorporation is giving away a dream car. She writes, I am blessing someone with a new car for the month of May. You can be driving a brand new Shelby Mustang GT500. I want to bless someone with a new car. Enter now when you click the link in my bio and tag all your friends and family who need a new car. Chance is also inviting people to travel to Paris with her to learn how to start a business start and grow a business she writes you're invited join me in paris for an opportunity to travel learn and grow you will learn how to start and grow your business and build generational wealth i will personally be coaching you along with some of my other amazing business and success coaches this trip is an all exclusive and includes everything except for flights it is open for the public and your friends and family are welcome click the link in her bio on her instagram and i'll post that below May the 30th through June the 2nd, Chance will be in Orlando at Disney Springs hosting an event titled Writing Your Own Enchanted Tale Girl Boss Edition. She writes, Disney World, here I come. Meet me in Orlando May 30th through June the 2nd. I will be speaking at the Financial Capability Training Conference and teaching people how to build a successful business and design a life they love. This is just a few of the many upcoming events for Dunbar and Chance. Don't hate on them too much that you missed your blessing. Just look look them up yourself on Facebook and Instagram and you will see for yourself that Dunbar and Chance have been it before and still is it after quitting the show. Do you agree with Dunbar and Chance's decision to leave the show? Why or why not? What are your thoughts on this couple? Like, comment, and subscribe below.